Have you ever wondered why that woman you were seeing or dating in the past got so upset to find out that she can't control you? She can't have you wrapped around her finger? Have you guys ever noticed that? There are countless of women out there who are predators. And now in 2020, I'm seeing more of them be revealed. And not just predators or stalkers. I'm talking about women who could be thirsty for another guy. Um, And especially women who want younger men to trick on. And, And what I mean by tricking, I mean by spending their money on them. Treating them like royal. Treating them like... The guy is the gold digger, okay? Like a sugar mama taking care of of a boy. And um, this is nothing new under the sun. 2020 has been revealing a lot of negativity lately. And it makes me think about men who are going their own way or men who just rather be celibate, who rather be monk have their own philosophy of life by putting themselves first. You ever wonder why there's women who does not respect men who does not put themselves first? When a man does not put himself first, then he is letting the other woman know that she can run game on him and she's better than him. Or she's the one in charge. When the man's supposed to be in charge. Everyone learns for themselves. Everyone learns on their own. Whether you learn from the world or not. Every man is molded differently. Into the man that they wish to be. But if they follow that philosophy of life. And the main agenda of what it means to be a man. You will be alright. Okay? Okay? Many men in general does not want to be used. Just like in general, there's many women who doesn't want to be used either. Common sense would mean treat people how you would want to be treated. I sympathize for men who are going their own way, who are MGTOW in the red pill sectors. There are men who are MGTOWs who are still dating. There are some men who's red pilled that I've known who are married as well. Okay. It all ma- it's, it's all a matter of time. Until the ship sinks. That's where you have to keep stuff afloat. It takes two people to swing. Just like how it takes two legs to move a bicycle. If the bike ain't working... And you got your two legs. What is the point of having the bicycle if it's not doing its job? It's garbage. That's how a lot of people now views men today. Because men put themselves in that position to be used. If you're putting yourself in a position to be used, to be extorted from, you're to blame. Nobody else. Especially if you know the women is like that. And in a lot of cases, there are plenty of women that are gold diggers, that are predators, that are looking out for their next prey. I see this a lot of times. Not to say it's 100%, but you see it a lot. And there's an increasing number of this during this pandemic. Desperate times calls for desperate measures, right? A lot of people are sadly mistaken. There are some men who thought that women will finally submit and change during this quarantine. And it, it, it didn't do anything. It just actually made things worse. As I said for my last videos, the only way many women would realize how valuable a man is and 
many of them, if they're willing to even throw themselves at, at a man when it comes down to their own very life, we would have to be on the edge where the world is about to end or we're in a big major depression or a crisis. That's the only time you're going to see many women on the streets roaming around desperately searching for comfort, for a roof under her head, for a man to provide for them, protect them, protect their children. That's the only time in most cases. That's the only time. The more older I've gotten, the more I understood the meaning of the quality of life. The more I see bull crap online and I see it in person, the more I'm going to say, hmm, imagine if I was MGTOW. There was a moment in my life where I was the same. And thank God I still carry that philosophy till this day. Everyone's philosophy is different. It all comes down to whether you you respect an, another individual or not. I know a guy who's married and who is a, a, awakened to realize that marriage ain't crap if the person's crap. If the steering wheel is always having to be greased up for instance you have a car like i like I, I i've explained with the bicycle what is the point in funding for that marriage what is the point and i'm not meaning money money wise of course we're going to need money to do a lot of things whether it comes down to entertainment traveling expenses uh uh buying food right we need money for that. Money is, is, is an important necessity to get by. Okay? And what I mean by funding, the other terms of funding is funding your time. That's the most precious thing you can never get back. I even said it myself. There's other men who are married that said it themselves. Why would I want to go back into the dating market knowing how garbage it is? It's every man for themselves. Look out for yourself. Don't let another woman look out for you. You have a lot of purpose in life. Many men that chooses not to be a woman, then that's fine. Do your thing. It's the reason why God even said it's right for a man to be monk. Because he basically say, from the Bible itself, I forgot the Bible verse, okay? He basically stated that it's not even worth fornicating if it's going to create chaos. It brings down, it boils down to sin. Unwanted miscarriages, unwanted Unwanted uh, abortion, pregnancies, um, greed, extortion, STDs. I could continue. The list goes on. That's when you know things get bad, when you get burnt. And you reap the consequences yourself. I made, men, I made multiple videos about this. And men putting themselves first... There's nothing wrong with that. If you're married in the relationships, put yourself first. Don't put the woman first. Are you crazy? This is the reason why God said just because there is no order. A lot of men has lost the sense of realizing how valuable they are because man was created first with an important role to lead. When Adam listened to his wife instead of Listening to God when it came down to the, the tree with the apples, right? His wife persuaded him 
to eat the apple, but he thought about God. God should have came first to his thought, and he would just let his wife know, like, look, Eve, this isn't right. We shouldn't eat the apple from the tree. We'll be naked. You'll be, we'll be sinners in God's eyes. It's not worth it. A lot of men needs to think. This is why in many cases, I don't care. I would put my foot down for what is right to me. Many men should do that. You're in a relationship. You're doing with a, a, a friendship, a colleague, a marriage, word, whatever it is. I support many men to put themselves first because in the end of the day, most women today, they're putting themselves first too. We all do. We all have to think of ourselves at some point. I'm not going to sacrifice my health, my happiness for somebody else. Then it makes it seem like I'm a lifeless puppet that's being used and allowing that 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 extortion to continue. I'm allowing I'm allowing myself to be used, to be a target, to be walked all over. And once the person could be done with you, that's it. You can't blame anybody else but yourself for letting it happen. Red flags is there for a reason. Getting to know someone better is there for a reason. Dating was created for a reason. Whether some men want wants to date or not. By all means, do your thing. There's women who say that they're the prize. Well, men could feel the exact same way. A lot of men shouldn't feel down, shouldn't feel depressed because, oh, I don't got anybody to come home to. This girl cheated on me. I'm not, I'm not good enough. This is what society wants you to think. So you could be a vulnerable, easy target to use. You have to be like the man of steel. Show the world what you're made of. And not for the world, but for yourself. You could get by in life a lot easier this way. When you put your foot down and let people know that you're in charge of your own life, your own destiny. God is the one that guides you. Whether you want to choose to see that guidance or not. Because I believe in my faith, he comes first through everything. The book of the Bible actually shows order for a reason. If a man was to leave his parents' home, let him find a good wife who shall be a good thing. Okay? Not for a woman to leave her home and find a husband and she finds a good thing. Do you realize God created man in his own image for a reason? Why are we going through a lot of problems that we're going through right now? Since a lot of people weren't taught, weren't taught order, order is thrown out the homes, which leads to single parent households. Men who are growing up confused without any guidance. Some people have to even teach themselves how to be a man. Okay, some people have to teach themselves this. And I'm just being honest with you too. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of men on the YouTube sector that grew up without a father in the home. Things happen. Be responsible. Of course, if you have children, I'm not telling you to abandon your children. Because there's too many deadbeat dads that, that do that crap. And there's not enough men that actually are there for their children. They're also being caught in the label. Do what you have to do. Because if you know it's right, it will be right for you or to someone else as well. That sees your character. That sees your responsibility. That knows how important your role is. Once you know the importance of the truth on your own role, you'll feel a lot better on doing things and you'll respect yourself a lot more to not be used 
abused and discarded. There's even men who are married that overvalues women because they're women. This is how bad the mindset is. You do not want to get there. You don't want to be a simp. Because if you're a simp in the relationship you're in, you could easily be a simp to someone else, to other women. You don't belong to her. You belong to the world. Don't be that guy. Show some respect. If she's going to ride with you, put your foot down and your best foot forward. Look, listen. Are we going to build a relationship? Are we going to build something together? Or are you going to just be using me and disrespecting me? And I'm just going to be real with you guys. This is why MGTOW and men going their own way and SYSBM and all these groups now. And philosophies, right? This is the main exact reason why they're here in 2020 today. A, a lot of men are fed up with the, with the bull crap. The dating scene is crap. All the things that I went through, I don't want to go through that again. A lot of men who are in relationships, once they find a good wife and they go overseas and they find a, 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 a woman they can settle with, a lot of them does not want to go back into the dating market. Who wants to put, through, put themselves through that again? That's why a lot of men, once their spouse dies or something tragic happens, they rather remain celibate and be monk and stay to themselves to not deal with the headache. It's out of respect for themselves. Because they put their best foot forward. Many women will be thinking about themselves. Do the same for yourself as well. Anyhow, this is Woken Red Pill here. Peace out, guys. Let me know what you think.